Hi, my name is Branch, and I am a little brown dog. Branch isn't my official name, but that's what I am. I'm a branch off my family tree. I am a Boykin Spaniel, and my breed was born and bred in South Carolina. That makes us pretty special around here. So special that we are South Carolina's official state dog. This is our story. This is me soon after I was born. My mom is named Ever, and her mom is Piper. We can trace our lineage all the way back to a little brown dog named Dumpy, who decided to take a walk to church one morning more than a hundred years ago. On that Sunday morning, Dumpy met a man named Alexander White. Mr. White decided to take the small, stray dog home with him. Soon, Mr. White found out that Dumpy was a great hunting dog. So he sent Dumpy to the country to live with his friend, L. Whitaker Boykin, better known as Wit. Wit gave Dumpy special training to improve his natural hunting abilities. Now, it just so happened that for a long time, the Boykins and their neighbors had been working on breeding a hunting dog that could get in and out of small boats without dumping the hunters into the water. <laughs> it can get cold when you're wet. With a little help from Wit Boykin, Dumpy became a great turkey dog and waterfowl retriever, and all without rocking the boat. I should tell you a little bit about Wit. He was a land appraiser and farmer in Kershaw and Sumter counties in the Midlands of South Carolina. Wit lived in a small community called Boykin. The Boykin area is centered on the Boykin Mill. There was also a mill pond. In fact, there are lots of mill ponds, creeks, branches, and streams in our neck of the woods. Boykin is also really close to the Watery River. Not surprisingly, considering the rural area that they all lived in, Wit and his friends were all avid hunters. And all the surrounding water meant that hunting trips often wound up with both dogs and hunters getting a little wet. Unless you had the right kind of dog. <laughs> that would be me. Oops, I mean Dumpy! <laughs> Since hunters and their dogs often hunted from small boats, getting in and out of the boat was a pretty important skill. This was one time when Dumpy's small size came in really handy. Beginning in the early 1900s, the Boykins, their friends and neighbors, began developing the breed that would eventually become the Boykin Spaniel affectionately known as the little brown dog. We think that the dog in this Boykin family photo, taken around 1910, might actually be Dumpy. Since Dumpy was Wit's only hunting dog with house privileges, it just makes sense that he would get into a family photo. We know from written descriptions that Dumpy was a small dog with floppy ears and a deep brown coat with a reddish tinge. To create the Boykin Spaniel, Wit and his friends looked for other dogs like Dumpy, dogs with exceptional hunting ability that were also small enough to get into and out of the small boats used in the twisty byways of the Watery River Swamp. Today, all Boykin Spaniels can trace their pedigrees back to that first little brown dog. Dumpy's ancestry and that of his descendants include several breeds of hunting dogs. First up, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The Chessie gave us Boykin Spaniels our eye color, our stubbornness, and our loyalty to our favorite person. The Springer Spaniel gave us a little bit of their leg. The Cocker Spaniel gave us great flushing ability, a small size, our often feathery coats, and a good temperament. The American Water Spaniel donated to us our beautiful brown coats and their ability in the water. Two well-bred pointers and a Brittany Spaniel were introduced into our bloodlines for their pointing ability. There probably were a few other breeds mixed into the Boykin in the beginning. After all, the most important thing for Wit and his friends was the dog's hunting ability. Wit Spaniels were bred for small size, coloring, good temperament, and exceptional swimming and retrieving ability. After years of selective breeding, for all the traits that made us little brown dogs into Boykin Spaniels, people started recognizing us. 
As early as the 1920s, locals could tell one of Whit Boykin's dogs from any others, and by the 1930s, we were known locally as Boykin Spaniels. The earliest photographs of Whit Boykin Spaniels are from the 1930s and 1940s. Check out the family resemblance. They all look like me. <laughs> or maybe I look like them. We were very popular locally for a long time, and eventually news of our hunting abilities began to spread. In 1943, we were featured nationally in an article in Esquire magazine, and in 1961, the New York World Telegram featured us as their breed of the month. Several newspaper articles appeared in the 1960s, and in 1964, Boykin Spaniels were in the book, The Hunting Dogs of America. In 1975, Boykin Spaniels again received national recognition with an article in South Carolina Wildlife. Author Mike Creel, owner of his own little brown dog, wrote an article detailing the history of our breed and a Boykin Spaniel racing across the field graced the magazine's cover. After that, our popularity soared, and it seemed that everyone had to have their very own little brown dog. Unfortunately, that led to some less than honest people passing off all sorts of small brown dogs as Boykin Spaniels. Luckily, Dr. Peter McCoy, a Camden vet, and a group of Boykin Spaniel owners got together and established the Boykin Spaniel Society. They were determined to protect and promote the traits that made little brown dogs into Boykin Spaniels, especially our hunting abilities. Founded in Camden in 1977, the original goals of the society were to establish a breed standard and to create the first Boykin Spaniel registry. From August 1979, to August 1980, a committee of the Society accepted applications for and selected the foundation stock, which became the base of the registry. Today, all Boykin Spaniels registered by the Society trace their lineage to the original foundation stock. When the Society began, they had 300 members in 25 states. In 2017, they had over 4,200 members from across the country and around the world. The Society continues to maintain the Boykin Spaniel Registry, and they urge members and breeders to use the official breed standard in breeding Boykin Spaniels. The Society encourages the breeding of healthy, purebred Boykin Spaniels with a concentration on maintaining our breed's natural hunting abilities. The breed standard developed by the Boykin Spaniel Society calls for a Boykin Spaniel to be medium in size, sturdy, and typically Spaniel, a sporting dog who is first and foremost a working dog with proven retriever instincts and hunting ability, characterized by boundless enthusiasm and endurance, moderate speed and agility, and possessing intelligence and a desire to please, which makes him easy to train. A male dog should be between 15 and a half to 18 inches high at the withers or shoulders and should weigh between 30 to 40 pounds. A bitch, that's a girl dog like me, should be between 14 to 16 and a half inches high at the withers and should weigh between 25 to 35 pounds. I am a perfect Boykin Spaniel. I stand about 15 inches high and I weigh 32 pounds. Now, back to our story. All of this popularity could have gone to our heads, but it didn't. We continued to be the lovable companion and exceptional hunting partner that we had always been. Then, in 1985, South Carolina recognized the Boykin Spaniel as the official state dog, and the United Kennel Club recognized the Boykin Spaniel as an official breed. In 1997, we got our own book when Mike Creel and Lynn Russell Kelly wrote The Boykin Spaniel, a book that traced the history of our breed from the early 1920s. In 2009, the American Kennel Club recognized the Boykin Spaniel in the sporting dog group. And in 2012, Texas Trace Kelly, the first Boykin Spaniel to win Best of Opposite at Westminster, became the first dog to be featured on the cover of the South Carolina Legislative Manual. How's that for being famous? Although we might be bona fide stars, we are still hunting dogs at heart, 
just like Dumpy and all the other early Boykin Spaniels. We love to participate in hunting trials, like the Boykin Spaniel Society's annual retriever trial. We also compete at regional and national levels in field trials and hunt tests all over the country. Although originally bred to hunt turkeys and ducks in the Midlands, today we excel with many diverse types of game. <laughs> After learning about being my friends, I just bet you're thinking that you need your very own little brown dog. So I should warn you that we're not for everyone. We love our people and would be heartbroken if we weren't part of your family. We're also really smart and have lots of energy. A bored Boykin is not a good thing. Luckily, if you're not into hunting and still want a little brown dog, there are lots of jobs that we can do with the family, like working as a therapy dog, keeping you company on the water, keeping you productive, um, well, at least sane at the office, saving your spot on the veranda, making a great Christmas card, enjoying the view with our very best friend. Just think of all the fun we can have together. We are known for our intelligence, charm, and versatility. We're your best hunting companion and your favorite lap dog. We are South Carolina's own little brown dog. <laughs>